Hi, I'm Mac Mindy. I'm a design engineer at Tektronix, and I'm here to show you what insufficient bandwidth does to your measurement. Here we're looking at a high side VGS measurement. It's a 100 kilohertz switcher, and so you would think one megahertz is plenty to make this measurement. One megahertz of, of measurement bandwidth is plenty. Looking at these edges, though, we're seeing 10 to 20 nanoseconds edge speeds, which would say I need, I don't know, 30 megahertz of bandwidth. Here is a, so let's look at this. Our scope is set for 20 megahertz bandwidth, so this is really what most people would think they need for the 20 megahertz bandwidth limit. What if I open this up to 250 megahertz? So I use a 250 megahertz measurement system to, all of a sudden I see this detail. This is the high frequency information that is masked when I use a, lower, a low pass filter, which is my measurement device on this measurement. Let's zoom in and see those details. Here we see about 100 megahertz ring and we see a hint of something else, but we can't, we don't have enough bandwidth yet to see the true measurement. So let's go to full bandwidth. So we go to full bandwidth, and then we start seeing more of this detail. So this is, a, this is really what's happening on my waveform. I went from the 20 megahertz bandwidth limit, I went to the 250, and now I'm at a gigahertz. So I'm seeing all that high frequency components coming through on my signal. Let's go measure what, what this ring is. Now we have the ability to accurately measure that signal. So right here. So the cursor is between those rings is about 543 megahertz. So with that 20 megahertz measurement system before, invisible. 250, I see a hint of something, but I, I don't know what it is. A one gigahertz system, I can actually get in there, see that there's a 500 megahertz uh, ring on top of my 100 megahertz uh, resonance and allowing me to go through and figure out in my circuit, the devices, what's causing this and tune it. After making these measurements, it's clear that we need sufficient bandwidth to accurately measure the high frequency components in my signal. Using, using anything lower bandwidth is a low pass filter in your measurement.